Hey everyone, it's Tom from ReplacementParts.com and today we're going to be showing you how to properly mix fuel for two-stroke engines. There are several pre-mixed fuel options that you can use to ensure you're using the right fuel ratio, but if you own your own power equipment, mixing the fuel yourself is a much cheaper option. For every two-stroke engine, there's a proper ratio of fuel to oil that you'll need to put into the engine in order for it to run properly. Make sure to consult your owner's manual to determine what the right fuel mix is before you add it to your equipment. The fuel ratio is often printed on the fuel cap as well, so if you don't have your manual, that's a great place to start. The most common fuel ratios that you'll see today are 40 to 1 or 50 to 1, meaning 40 parts fuel to 1 part oil or 50 parts fuel to 1 part oil. Once you've determined the proper ratio, you'll need to make sure you have the appropriate containers. Don't just use a clear jug here. It's really important to use approved fuel containers to store fuel. You'll next need to find two measuring containers, one small and one large to measure out both the fuel and the oil. You'll want to find a larger container for the fuel and a smaller one for the oil. It's also a good idea to make sure your measuring containers have both imperial and metric measurements, as that's going to make it easier to mix the correct ratio down the line. At this point, make sure you have your fuel on hand as well as your two-stroke engine oil. It can be synthetic or natural oil, just make sure it's approved for two-stroke engines. You'll next want to determine how much fuel you want to keep on hand. For something like a chainsaw that you may not use as much as, say, a lawnmower, you can get away with mixing less fuel. For this example, we're using a chainsaw and about two liters of fuel should last us the whole season. It's important not to let fuel sit for too long or it can go bad. Typically two to three months is the average lifespan for a mixed fuel. Remember, if you're mixing more fuel, that's okay, just make sure the ratio stays the same. Now it's time for some basic math. Our fuel ratio is 40 to one, so 40 parts fuel to one part oil. What we're gonna do is take that number 40 and divide it by the amount of fuel that we have. For this stage, it doesn't matter if you're using imperial or metric measurements. So let's say we have a gallon of fuel. That's 128 ounces. So we'll divide 40 by 128 and that comes to 0.3125 ounces. Then we'll take the second number in our ratio, which is always a one, and divide that by the result of our first equation. That gives us 3.2, which means for every gallon of gas we have, we'll use 3.2 ounces of oil. So now if you have a container that will allow you to accurately measure out 3.2 ounces of oil, you're all set. But what if you have a measuring container that's only marked in whole numbers? Well, that's where using metric measurements comes in handy. For our chainsaw example, we'll use the same 40 to one ratio, but instead of a gallon, we'll use two liters. So we'll take our first number, 40, and divide it by two, which gives us 20. Then we'll take the second number, which is one, and divide it by 20, which comes to 0.05 liters or 50 milliliters. Because 50 milliliters is a whole number, it should be much easier to get an accurate measurement. Now that we have our proper amount of oil, it's just a matter of filling up our measuring container with 50 milliliters of oil and adding that to our approved fuel container that we've already filled with two liters of fuel. That gives us our 40 to one ratio. Once the fuel and oil are added to the container, simply give it a good shake and you're good to go. That's just how easy it is to mix your own fuel with a couple of items from around the shop and a little bit of math. If you have any questions about the process or if there's a different way you like to go about it, let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And if you have any questions for us or suggestions for videos you'd like to see next, leave them for us in the comments section.